Prior to forming Minor Threat in 1980, vocalist Ian McKay and drummer Jeff Nelson had played bass and drums respectively in the Teen Idols while attending what was then Wilson High School. During their two-year career within the flourishing Washington, D.C. hardcore punk scene, the Teen Idols had gained a following of around 100 fans and were seen as only second within the scene to the contemporary Bad Brains. Mackay and Nelson were strong believers in the DIY mentality and an independent underground music scene, after the breakup of the Teen Idols, they used the money earned through the band to create Discord Records, an independent record label that would host the releases of the Teen Idols Minor Threat and numerous other DC punk bands. Eager to start a new band after the Teen Idols, Mackay and Nelson recruited guitarist Lyle Pressler and bassist Brian Baker. They played their first performance in December 1980 to 50 people in a basement, opening for Bad Brains, The Untouchables, Black Market Baby and SOA all DC bands. The band's first seven EPs Minor Threat and In My Eyes were released in 1981, the group became popular regionally and toured the East Coast and Midwest. Straight Edge a song from the band's first EP helped to inspire the Straight Edge movement, the lyrics of the song relay Mackay's first-person perspective of his personal choice of abstinence from alcohol and other drugs, a novel ideology for rock musicians which initially found a small but dedicated following. Other prominent groups that subsequently advocated the straight-edge stance include SSD Control and Seven Seconds, although the original song was not written as a manifesto or a set of rules, many later bands inspired by this idea used it as such, and over the years since its release, the song and the term straight edge became the zeitgeist for an entire subculture, and indeed the basis for a paradigm shift that has persisted and grown consistently throughout the world, the term comes as the point. Of the story, he doesn't want to do drugs or drink, so therefore the writer has an edge over those who do a straight edge. Out of Step, a minor threat song from their second EP further demonstrates the said belief don't smoke, don't drink, don't fuck, at least I can fucking think, I can't keep up, I'm out of step with the world. The I in the lyrics was usually only implied, mainly because it did not quite fit the rhythm of the song. Some of the other members of Minor Threat, Jeff Nelson in particular, took exception to what they saw as Mackay's imperious attitude on the song. The song was later re-recorded and the updated version of the song on the 1983 album Out of Step, which is slower so the first-person use of I would be clearer, included a bridge where Mackay explains his personal beliefs, explaining that his ideals which at the time were not yet known as what became a collective philosophy, or in fact known as straight edge, is not a set of rules I'm not telling you what to do. Minor Threat's song Guilty of Being White led some critics to accuse the band of racism, but Mackay has strongly denied such intentions and said that some listeners misinterpreted his words. He claims that his experiences attending Wilson High School, whose student population was 70% black inspired the song. Their many students bullied Mackay and his friends, in an interview Mackay stated that he was offended that some perceived racist overtones in the lyrics saying to me at the time and now, it seemed clear it's an anti-racist song. Of course it didn't occur to me at the time I wrote it that anybody outside of my 20 or 30 friends who I was singing to would ever have to actually ponder the lyrics or even consider them. Thrash metal band Slayer later covered the song, with the last iteration of the lyric guilty of being white changed to guilty of being right. In the time between the release of the band's second 7-inch EP and the Out of Step record, the band briefly split when guitarist Lyle Pressler moved to Illinois to attend college for a semester at Northwestern University. Pressler was a member of Big Black for a few tempestuous rehearsals, during that period Mackay and Nelson put together a studio-only project called Skewbold Grand Union, in a reflection of the slowly increasing disagreements between the two musicians, they were unable to decide on one name. The group recorded three untitled songs, which would be released posthumously as Discord's 50th release during Minor Threat's inactive period. Brian Baker also briefly played guitar for Government Issue and appeared on the Make an Effort EP. In March 1982, at the urging of Bad Brains, Pressler left college to reform Minor Threat. The reunited band featured an expanded lineup Steve Hansgen joined as the band's bassist and Baker switched to second guitar. Summon Minor Threat, 
Particularly drummer Jeff Nelson took exception to what they saw as Mackay's imperious attitude on the song Out of Step, when the song was re-recorded for the LP Out of Step. Recording engineer Don Zintara had inadvertently recorded an argument between drummer Nelson and lyricist singer Mackay that captured the message perfectly, so this was used. According to Mark Anderson and Mark Jenkins' Dance of Days' Two Decades of Punk in the Nation's Capital, this argument was over exactly what would be said in the message that Nelson wanted Mackay to record, stating essentially what he said without knowing it was being recorded, an ideological door had already been opened, however, and by 1983 some straight-edge punks, such as followers of the band SSD Control were swatting beers out of people's hands at clubs. Minor threat broke up in 1983, a contributing factor was disagreement over musical direction, Mackay was allegedly skipping rehearsal sessions towards the end of the band's career, and he wrote the lyrics to the songs on the Salad Days AP in the studio. That was quite a contrast with the earlier recordings, as he had written and co-written the music for much of the band's early material, Minor Threat which had returned to being a four-piece group with the departure of Hans Jen, played its final show on September 23, 1983 at the Landsberg Cultural Center in Washington, D.C., sharing the bill with go-go band Trouble Funk and Austin, Texas Punk Funk act The Big Boys, in a meaningful way Minor Threat ended their final set with Last Song, a tune whose name was also the original title of the band's song Salad Days. Following the breakup, Mackay stated that he did not check out on Hardcore, but in fact Hardcore checked out. Explaining this he stated that at a 1984 Minutemen show, a fan struck Mackay's younger brother Alec in the face and he punched the fan back, then realizing that the violence was stupid and that he sought his role in the stupidity, Mackay claimed that immediately after this he decided to leave the hardcore scene.